Hello, my Digitus co-creators. Lilu here on the Juicy Living Tour. You might recognize my guest because we met two years ago, Ming. I am so excited to be sitting next to you and that we bump into each other here. We're at the Ion Conference in the middle of the desert. It's absolutely beautiful with luscious water. I don't know where this water is coming from. <laughs> How that manifests, amazing, you know. I feel like we go slow time tunnel, you know, from two years ago. And boom, here we go. Yes. It's such a delight. It's such a delight. Yeah, it's like we're just catching where we, where we left. <laughs> I love it. You're um, you're a Qigong master, so obviously we're going to speak of Qi, but I think really what's interesting here and what I would like to talk more with you about, because there's this, always this other video that we can go to and wonderful teaching on health and on, on how to practice Qigong and all of these beautiful things, but here, the nutritious aspect, the nutrition, you know, your point of view on that and how we can really eat uh Chi food, I guess. I mean, first we have to talk of chi. What is remind us what is chi before we go into the nutritious part of it? Beautiful. So first of all, you know, I love this topic because you know I say people asking me what is qigong. You know, you can go to the very you know high level of mystical spiritual dimension of consciousness, or we can go to the most practical level of health. So eating food is really wonderful place to open this conversation. So my analogy of qigong is a way of eating qi. Yeah, whole Qigong practice is about eating energy, <laughs> eating energy, <laughs> you know. I love it. <laughs> so, so like when we eat in food, we're born with this capacity, natural, you know. I'm observing our little kids, they just know grabbing the food, they will put it to the mouth, into the nose, they know where to go. It's amazing, you know. So this capacity is programmed in our DNA, so to speak to eat the food a certain way, go slow the digestive tract, you know, and observing the food, breaking down the ingredients to a subtle, subtle energy, and eventually the blood observe that energy, sending to the entire system, nourishing the entire system. So eating food is literally a nourishment, yeah. nourishing life, the physical life as well as the spirit itself, including the heart. Mm -hmm. So when you're understanding qi, which is nothing but energy, understanding the entire being is energy, then when you're eating food, you're eating energy. So how to eat energy in the most, you know, healthy way, let's say. Yeah. But more importantly, is the most fulfilling way, most nourishing way. That means healthy, yeah? So I'm just going to pause a second, because how do you know we're all energy? Uh, very good question, yeah. So he here we go. And I'm loving it. Oh, this is come to me is, you know, when I touch you here. Yeah. What are you feeling in your brain? L light, space. Light and space. What is the sensation? A bit buzzing or tingling. <laughs> Buzzering, tickling, <laughs> magnetic, electro kind of feeling, yes? yes? Mainly light, yeah. Yeah, light. Beautiful. So how that you can say the sensation is as sensation of the skin, you cannot explain it. Yeah, the, the physical paradigm cannot explain what you just felt, tangibly felt, your nerve system felt, your brain felt, your mind felt, your heart felt this energy. And that energy continuously permeating your entire body, continuous permeating. So now another experiment I'm going to do is uh, you just look at my hand there. You don't have to do anything. Continuously feeling your brain. <laughs> so any sensation, any feeling you're picking up? Well, it's kind of moving uh, right, left. Ah, a sense of even movement mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not touching you physically. Mm. The space between my hand, your brain, your head. It could be my imagination. Can be. Yet, you're feeling it. Yes. Your imagination is part of consciousness. My consciousness is part of this big consciousness. Mm -hmm. And this consciousness is part of the chi at work. That's the amazing dimension. So it's not separate. It's part of it but it's also physical, tangible. It's happening. You can measure it. 
physically, and that's what's most important. And as I mentioned, it's a creative process, creative process. So scientifically, one model to explain the physical change happening is the energy interference for the physical to happen. If you measure the physical change, you're measuring it slow your sensation, slow your feeling, slow your consciousness. So there's energy stimulating that change. And your consciousness is part of that energy. My consciousness is part of that energy. My hand is part of this energy. It's part of this universal energy surrounding us. So I'm projecting that energy, make the change happen. You're feeling that. Your mind is part of process. Yeah. If you feel more open, then stronger. If you resist, then less. Yeah, and where human being has free will. So that's how we know experientially we're energy. But if you want to go into a more scientific intellectual realm, is scientifically we know we discover the whole universe. The 96% of the universe made up dark energy and dark matter. And Not as bad. <laughs> not as bad. That's right. <laughs> as we say, dark is not bad, mm -hmm. means not known to our five sensory, to our perception, based on the historical training, so to speak, even technologies. But only 4% is visible, tangible, physical. So scientifically, we know. So Qigong is not only bridging between you know, the spiritual and scientific, but it is about experientially, how can you train in your mind to work with that energy? So coming back to you know, the implication for Fu is very important. So first of all, in Qigong, you know, as I using the knowledge of how to eat the food, as a baby, we know how to do that. But as human being, we don't know how to eat energy yet. We just shove it in our mouth. That's right. <laughs> you can try it. <laughs> you know, you still feel something, the air goes in. Of course, then we blow up. I mean, we become big. Our so society is big. Right. But you, of course, you're breathing, you know. Breathing, you're eating energy. The energy comes in, the energy goes out, going through this transformation, that recycling process is the one foundation of life. But more to it, when you're exposed to the sun, you feel good, you feel energized. Yeah. Even in this hot weather, you don't want to go there, but you feel energized if you're willing to go there, you know? The sun is so much energy, you know? You're not physically touching the sun. You're not eating it. You cannot put the sun in your mouth, you know? but you can expose to the energy by gathering the energy internally so you can really eat in the energy. So you cannot really eat in slow the mouth. You have to train yourself in a different way. Your eyes eating qi, your ears eating qi, and your breathing is eating qi, your skin is eating qi, yeah, your energy gates is eating the qi. The energy center, energy channel is eating the qi. So it's a new training. Mm -hmm. So you're finding a new like, uh, switch in the body. Turn this switch on so the energy not only activate internally, but are connected externally and you're creating a flow in and out. The exchange of energy nourishing you, mm -hmm. continuously nourishing you. So what you're doing is uh, you learn eating the energy beyond what is available for you. What that means is beyond what you're familiar with. Beyond what you see? Yeah, exactly, beyond what you see. So you tap into much big spectrum of energy, greater resource of energy, and you're expanding the capacity of your creativity in that process. So coming to the food. Yeah, some food uh, maybe are not as energetic as others. Still is energetic. It's amazing. So when we think of uh, and working with energy, one of the perceptions thinking, oh, you're only working with something invisible, formless, high frequency, profound, you know, allers, you know. This is, uh, I think it's limited perception. Is energy exists in the physical form as well. As Einstein knows in the relative, E equal to MC squared, what that means <laughs> in the matter, there's a profound, powerful energy yeah. in the 
quantum level, that energy expo is so powerful. In all matter. In all matter, exactly. That's why we're eating food. Mm -hmm. That's why the physical body needing that physical food to sustain. But it's energy sustaining that. Mm -hmm. The energy the food carry is sustaining that. So that is the secret. That's why, you know, I often say in terms of food, not only what you eat is important, mm -hmm. but how you eat is important. When you're working with energy, your choice relating to the energy in different frequency is alternating the function of the energy in your body. So a simple example, everybody can relate into it. You know, if you're liking the food, somehow this food become more nourishing for you. Mm -hmm. If you dislike it, you know, oh, I hate this food, I really don't like it, this doesn't taste good for you. No matter how nutritious, if you measure the nutrition, all <laughs> spectrum, you know, match scientifically, you know, medically speaking, it's good for you, still the nourishment is not there. Mm. That's a good example. It's such Simply. a good example in life too, I mean, you can expand that thought to, exactly. to how we live our life. Exactly. So, go further is, uh, you know, is really, I want to offer this uh, simple, way, you know, eating the energy with the food, but you can do it anytime. It's like eating the food, no matter what you're eating this moment, what's in front of you, meatball, or organic, you know, vegetables, you know, whatever it might be. Or, my, my, or fast food? Even fast food. Mm -hmm. And I will really invite you to experiment all kind of food. But you're eating in a way, keep your eyes closed and slowly putting one bite at a time in your mouth and chewing, chewing until nothing to chew on. Before you're taking another bite, feel the chi in your mouth. Feel the chi permeating your entire digestive system, permeating entire being and giving you incredible bliss, incredible bliss. And that is the true quality of nourishment means you can feel the cellular level bliss. That's the energy. Yeah. That's the chi. Taking that further then, breathinarians, what is your view on that? Absolutely possible that people do that. You know, and there's so much energy to observe from the sun, from the space. Yeah, if you practice long enough, you're able to do that. I know few people that don't eat food mm. for like more than 10 years. Mm. You know, in my personal experience, limited, and I do fasting for a period of time, you know, one month, not using the food. You're perfectly fine. You're water? More fine. And I think I use a little water, just a tiny bit of water, yeah. And eventually, at some point, when not so busy, then you can expand further mm -hmm. without water, without any substance. But you have to be ready or conditioned. Some people may be in our society are not so ready to take that on and they maybe take that on for the wrong reason. You know, and this depends on what is your intention. You know, you want to, you know, prove yourself. I say, never mind, you know. But if you want to really expand in your potential, enjoy a different way of life, then it's incredible paths available for you. So the same way in Qigong, you begin, if you begin with eating the food differently, you're starting to feel this new possibility, a new energy arising, communicating through your mind with the food, then the energy affecting your body. So that is one level I want to share. But another level is also important is, uh, you know, when you're eating the food and observing the energy, is the process of digesting the food. You know, no matter, you know, what do you eat? If your digestive system cannot take on that food, digesting, then you cannot really receive the true nourishment, fulfill the true purpose of the food. Yeah, but that feels it's the body to do that, you know? But exactly. we have to play a role, that's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that is another level of training. Yeah. You're training your body, your digestive system in this case, awakening to the full capacity. Mm -hmm. So think about it. So okay, and uh, if people experiencing the limitation of digestive food was told medically for whatever reason, you can only eat this food, cannot eat this one, cannot eat it. over the time your diet, you know, become less, less, less option available for you. Then what are you telling your digestive system? Say you're not good enough to get this energy anymore. Then over the time, what happened? 
like as a child, if you're not training the child to explore, to creative, you know, doing things, telling the child you're not good enough, and you're not good enough, the child eventually disable itself. The same thing happened, no different in the body, the digestive system. Say, I'm going to getting worse and worse because you tell me so. And then over the time, you're convinced you cannot eat this kind of food. Then you continue limiting your diet. Yeah. So I'm not against being, you know, being conscious of what you should eat. Be mindful. That's really important. But not to the degree of extreme. Not focusing on the digestive system. That can be a mistake. So what I'm suggesting is inviting you go into the body itself, the digestive system itself, to smile to the digestive system, to connect in with the energy of digestive system, to making the sound, doing the movement, awakening that digestive system, say this energy becomes so you know, vital, so intelligent, so open, so ready. Then you can observe the, like the internal energy of the digestive system receiving the external energy of the food. These two energy have to interact. Mm -hmm. But if the internal energy is contracted, then no energy can go in, basically. Mm -hmm. There's no commute happening. There's no digestion can happen. So you have to open in the energy internally first, then receiving this energy, then this energy uniting together as a transformation as part of you, as ongoing nourishment of life. Mm -hmm. So deeply awakening that capacity. Mm -hmm. I guess on the, on the breatharian side though, it doesn't go through that or does it still, is it still part of the process? It still has to go everywhere? My perception is, uh, is you go using the entire body as a digestive yeah. system. So not just uh, the mouth going slow, the digestive tract go to the stomach, you know, pancreas and, and the intestine column and so on. That is more for food. But if you're observing the energy itself beyond the food, then you're using the entire body, mm -hmm. digesting it. Digesting it. So that's a really important aspect mm -hmm. in all practice, including Qigong, including eating food. Mm -hmm. How to connect with the entire body to observe the energy, not in an isolated way. You know, okay, the digestive system doing its own thing, then the, the, the immune system doing its own thing separately, then all that. If you do that, then eventually you're isolating them, you're depleting the wholeness, you're depleting the whole function. So in healing, in one level, it's very simple. You go to the place where you're experiencing weakness, dysfunction, contraction, lack of energy, lack of intelligence. And you bring more energy, more love to this place, awakening the internal energy, allow the energy connecting with the entire bodily energy, allow the entire bodily energy connecting with earth, connecting with the heaven, and establishing this new energy flow, like a new energy magnetic field and it continuously be magnetized and so internally going through every system basically so in that is also important even you know when you you know at the time being you may need using drug or medicine for you know to help you to manage certain disease what if you program the body to think of the medicine as nourishment, as energy, same way as food. Yeah. Instead of something is wrong here. Exactly, exactly. So what you do is very practical. And you visualize in the light, going to the medicine. And you visualize in the medicine, dissolving to the light. And you visualize in this light, gathering into your body when you're taking the medicine, permeating to your entire body, particularly go to the system where the medicine needed. Then you visualize and imagine the full function of the medicine as pure healing, pure perfection, realizing the final you know, balance, harmony, all function coming to normal from the medical knowledge, you know, if you know, you're visualizing it. And you continue that process. What is happening is you program in the entire body, able to receive this energy of the medicine in the most effective way, harmony way possible, reducing the side effect, realizing the full potential of healing. So it's not a, a paradigm against the medicine, yeah. a paradigm against the physical. It's really an integration, an expansion, an engagement, appreciation of life in this whole mm. possibility.
bringing joy everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. You're so joyful. With starting with you first. Did you, or did you want to squeeze his cheeks? He's one of these people like Barbara Max Hubbard. You just want to squeeze think, his cheeks. I think everybody is happy when you're walking with energy. You, uh, you, you couldn't help it. Yeah, you, your heart just opens up, you know. Yeah. Thank you for this delicious, <laughs> nutritious conversation. I'm so delighted and so happy to come, you know, together again. So my message, my invitation, inspiration for all of you is not only enjoy your life, but enjoy your life in a way, you know, receiving all the nourishment and life presents for you. Yeah. And if you want to hear more about Mintong, you can go to California because there's a big center, huh? the Chi Center. Absolutely. Part of uh, the Noetic Science Camps, you know, that's where the conference is about today. And also we do offer online class ongoing. So we can literally connect, yeah. slow the internet, live stream, yeah. so we can practice together. Thanks to technology, and this way you can enjoy your kids. Absolutely, that's the idea. <laughs> that so magnificent, that's I love that. Yeah, yes. yeah. Beautiful, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Lou, for who you are, for the work you do, and thank you for all the listeners to open to this new idea, new possibility. Yeah. Thank you. Very, very beautiful conversation. Thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spreading this joy and this nutrition conversation. I love you. Let's eat chi. <laughs> Hola.